With news of a potential treatment moving into phase three, hopes for a coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year are high. Doctors and residents alike are hopeful this new development will help curb the spread. But how soon will this vaccine hit the market? KRX 5's Katrin Asaf spoke with local medical experts on what to expect from a COVID vaccine, and she's live in the studio with more details. Katrin. Rob, there are currently at least four vaccines in development, but one that shows the most promise. Moderna has moved their testing phase to number three, which will hopefully reveal if the vaccine works or if it doesn't. But even with a seal of approval, it could be months before we see the vaccine here on the Western Slope. It is primarily geared to determine if the vaccine actually works. The most promising version of a potential new COVID vaccine has now moved to phase three, igniting hope for a stop to the spread as human trials begin. Half of them get the vaccine, half of them get a placebo, and then you wait and see what happens with infections in the community. COVID vaccines have been in development practically since the virus began, with at least four different companies rushing to create an effective version. Typically, a new vaccine will take a few years. But with the American death toll at now over 155,000, the heat is on to find something that works. The federal government has created what they call Operation Warp Speed. And their goal, as they've stated on the HHS website, is to bring 300 million doses of vaccine to the U.S. market by the end of the year. Many are concerned this fast tracking could lead to a less effective vaccine, but experts say it doesn't work that way. Fast tracking, it doesn't uh, really change the, the parameters of, of measuring whether the it works or not. But even if a vaccine is ready by the end of 2020, you probably won't see it at the pharmacy right away. The government will step in and help to allocate these products to the areas of most need. Those include high risk populations, healthcare workers, and hotspot areas, with the rest of the public looking at. Ultimately, there will be hundreds of millions of doses available within the calendar year 2021. Regardless of when vaccines hit the market, doctors are confident that this could be the vital next step in having life go back to normal. If we go back enough years before we had a, a vaccine for influenza, you know, a lot of people got really sick and a lot of people died from influenza. Um, the numbers are obviously drastically reduced uh, with, with a vaccine. And in the meantime, you can still do your part to stop the spread. Lots of hand washing, personal distancing, um, and then mask wearing. And Dr. Tobin also wants to make clear there's no way you can get COVID by receiving the vaccine. Any part of the virus included is either dead or destroyed, so it just creates antibodies. We'll continue to keep you updated on any additional developments with the vaccine or treatment for the coronavirus. First on the Western Slope and live in studio, Katrin Asaf, KRX 5 News.